Maybe there's a golden hue at the Woodland Dunes and Two Rivers. I like that idea. Emily Deem is live <laughs> with more, but you're inside right now, aren't you? Yes, we are inside, Rachel and Doug. And I have to show you something this morning. Check out what Jim Nickelbein is holding in his hand. Jim, what is this? This is actually a masked shrew. Uh, it's a shrew. It's the smallest animal that we have around here. Uh, they're very energetic little predators. Uh, on things that are smaller than they are, like insects and, and worms hmm. and things like that. And obviously it's it's not alive. No. You, you discovered it yeah. out here, and where was it? Uh, just out uh, near our, actually in our yard here, uh, near the barn. And it's so. funny because you're telling me you're finding something, you're learning about something new every single day. And that's Absolutely. what people can do out here at Woodland Dunes. And um, we're in the kids' room right now. This is a great area. You really want kids to get outside, learn about nature and what's out there. Right. So you have a lot of interactive stuff. Let's talk about what's over here on this wall besides that giant fake spider right there that freaked me out <laughs> right when I walked into the room this morning. What's all up here with this um, uh, adventure backpack? Yeah, these are backpacks that that uh, families can check out when they visit the Nature Center. And uh, the children can uh, use these to, uh, here's an I Spy game, uh, to look for different things uh, out on the trails and in the forest. And then when they, one of the things they can look for actually are bird nests. And this is a, a recording sheet uh, for information that they uh, might observe about bird nests. Uh, and we're trying to encourage them to think like scientists. Uh, even at a young age, so make it more interesting for them. Another great thing over here, check out this little area for kids to look outside and yep. observe even more birds. Yes, behind the uh, burlap there is a bird feeder uh, and kids can go up on that shelf and uh, actually look outside, uh, get right up close to the birds. There are pictures of the common birds that come to the feeder there and field guides and they can identify the birds themselves. This is meant to be an interactive room. Mm -hmm. uh, so really, we're not telling the, the children and the families what to do in here. We're just making tools available to them so that they can discover on their own uh, what's going on in the world of nature. I really love this over here, your trail cams that you have out on the preserve. How many acres do you have out there? About 1,200 acres altogether. And look at what's coming through. Just tell yeah. us a little bit about these. It's pretty photos. amazing. Uh, and of course, when we're out in the woods, uh, wildlife is aware of us. So uh, the, the wild animals tend to hide. But uh, the trail cams are wonderful in that you can record what's going on when no one's around. And we have uh, a number of species, two species of foxes and coyotes. Once in a while there's a bear that wanders through uh, every few years and they don't tend to hang around and no one sees them. Yeah. Uh, a fisher uh, was recorded on a trail cam and unfortunately a couple weeks ago we found a fisher that was uh, killed by a car on the road. Uh, which is the, the first uh, fisher that's been reported uh, in this part of Wisconsin, uh, officially documented wow. anyway. Jim, really interesting so. stuff. Thank you so much for being with us. It's free to come out here and check it out. So go to our website to learn more. We'll send it back to you. Thanks, Sam. Thanks.